It kind of has like an hourglass shape. You know, she's been wearing her waist trainer. <laughs> We are doing a face off of some of my favorite high end and drugstore mascaras and really just want to put like put your money where your mouth is boo like am I paying extra money for your name or can I get the same quality if not better from our drugstore gals. So I'm going to be comparing some of my favorites so if you're interested in seeing if they match up like who I end up rocking with and my team drugstore and my team high end and just keep watching. All right, so no particular order here. I'm just taking the first one that I see. This is the Maybelline, the Colossal Curl Bounce. So basically this is just supposed to give you like a nice curl and like lift to your lashes. This is what the brush looks like. So it's um, slightly, a slight curve to it, not that much though. Um, but it's like your regular like bristle mascara brush. It's not, um, what are those, those plastic ones? You know, that'd be like, bleh, bleh, bleh. I have one here that's like that, but it's not. <laughs> so the way I like to apply mascara is just like kind of wiggle it at the base and then pull it through um, to sort of like help my lashes because they are super short if I don't have anything on them. Um, or I would say they look super short. They're not even really that short, but just like with nothing on them, they look like absolutely nothing. But I don't have the longest lashes either, so. This is Maybelline Curl Bounce. I don't know, like looking here, I see a major difference in this side versus this side. Do y'all? Cause I do. Like my lashes look a lot longer, more fanned out, spaced out. And these just look like sad. They all like, like if I like move my lashes over to the side enough, I just don't even exist girl but this eye looks nice and lifted this is the merit what do you call it the lengthening mascara in the shade perfect black so that's this is what it looks like it's a very like nice sleek very i don't know how else to describe this other than ominous like it's not a lot of branding it's not a lot of color it's just black and gold very very sleek so i'm gonna put that on this eye this again is another just plain bristle brush, but it's just straight, no curve to it whatsoever. It's not like flat on one side or anything. It's just a regular bristle brush. So I'm assuming like all of the action here is like in the formula. And I'm gonna use the same technique of just wiggling at the base and pulling it through. So that is the Merit Mascara over on this eye. Um, I will say like it does lengthen them, but it doesn't give me any like volume to like the base of my lashes. So it kind of just looks like the lashes I had before, but just sticking out a bit more. Um, when I look at this Colossal Bounce, I think that this does add like a bit of volume. Yeah. So, so far this one, I'm liking that one. The most but we still have a few more to try so that was high end so next we have the maybelline sky high mascara and this is in the cosmic black so i actually have both of them here i have the regular sky high and i have the cosmic black this is just like their newest iteration of this so i've told you guys a million times before i used to work at l'oreal and maybelline is a l'oreal owned brand so when they have a mascara that goes viral or any product really that goes viral like that if it's a like foundation or concealer shade they're gonna add more shades if it's a mascara in this case they're just gonna find ways to like make expand on it so like this is basically like a mascara that's supposed to have like hints of glitter in it but you can't really tell this is what the brush looks like same as the original one so it's not a bristle brush it is like one of those like bendy plasticky ones and the bristles on here are super short and it's more of like a tapered effect but one thing i do like about the sky high mascara is that it's super bendy so you can like really get in there so let's try our same effect here wiggling it at the base. I don't know if something in this cosmic black formula changed other than like the glitter because 
I like this so much more than the regular Sky High. And I think the only thing that changed was the glitter, but it just don't seem the same to me. I like the way my lashes look. Again, me looking down here, it looks different. I don't know for you guys, it might like not look like a big difference, but for me, like my lashes look nice and lifted and there's volume at the base. So the one thing that I wasn't getting with the Merit is that like, Yes, I want you to lengthen them, but I also want you to add like a little bit of volume at the base of my lashes too, so that it kind of like gives the illusion of like eyeliner without me having to put some on. So I like this one. Like out of these three that I've tried so far, the Sky High is my favorite. It's two points for drugstore, <laughs> zero for high end. This is the Ami Cole, um Mascara. This is called their Lash Amplifying Mascara shade black i believe they only have one shade of this um so i'm gonna say it's black so uh, this one has a bristle brush but similar to the sky high it's it's rounded it has super short bristles and it is tapered at the end it's not super bendy it's like just stiff like what you get is what you get so let's try her out i'm gonna do the same technique wiggle at the base and pull it through. Now, this Ami Cole, this was one of my favorite mascaras that I've tried recently because I just really like how it coats my lashes so well. So not, not only do I get volume like at the base, but I get more so volume like through like the tips of my lashes, which is nice if you want like a thicker look. And I don't mind a thicker look. Um, here, looking at it in person, like this looks like a very nice natural, like you just have nice eyelashes. It doesn't look like you have like fake lashes on or anything because if I'm not wearing fake lashes, I don't want it to look like I have on fake lashes, but it just like opens up my eye. I really like the formula of the Ami Cole, and I would say if you have stubborn lashes like I do that are really hard to lift, if you have lashes that have a really tight curl, try the Ami Cole because that is one of the ones that I found like really can lift up my lashes the way I want it to. So <sighs> high end, y'all have a contender here. So our next drugstore is the Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara. So, um, they came out with this mascara not too long ago. I feel like the launch though was kind of like hush hush. It wasn't like super loud. Um, so this brush, this is the only kind of like fun brush I feel like we're getting. Well, actually the next one I feel like is a little fun too. So I'm glad I saved these two for last to compare them. So it has like a bristle, like a plasticky like bristle brush. Um, it is kind of bendy so you have like some flexibility there with it and as you can see it kind of has like an hourglass shape you know she's been wearing her waist trainer um and the bristles at the widest part are longer and at the shorter or at the more narrow parts the bristles are shorter um so let's put this on see what she does I'm not gonna lie, I haven't reached for this mascara in a little bit and I forgot how much I liked it. It just lifts and fans out your lashes so nicely, very nicely. I will say like, compared to the other um, drugstore formulas that I use, I don't feel like this makes my lashes look as long but it still gives them like a very nice fanned out separated effect. The one thing that I'm liking about the drugstore mascaras though is that those mascaras are really separating my, my lashes to make it look like I have so many lashes. Our last mascara um, for high end, this is a Power Flex Volumizing Lengthening Mascara from Cover FX. Um, so this is another one that has like an interesting brush. This is like the most interesting brush of the night and it's kind of a hybrid. So one side is like the um, little plasticky that's more rounded. And then this side on the inside is like your regular bristle brush. So this is supposed to like volumize and lengthen. So you have to use both sides to get like the full effect. So 
I'm gonna start with the bristle side. I'm gonna wiggle that through. And then I'm gonna go in with the other side. Okay, so I actually really like Cover FX um, products. This mascara though is not doing it for me. So the one thing is, is that a lot of mascara gets caught right here at the tip of this brush, no matter how much you try to like wipe it off. So like you end up with like little clumps everywhere. This bristle side, I feel like doesn't have much, if any product on it. So it's not really like doing much. And then this side has too much product on it, like where your lashes can't really get between the grooves of it and if they do it's gonna pull out a big clump so i'm not this is a mascara i'm not gonna lie i don't really reach for it that often um and i will say when i first first got that mascara and i tried it it was really nice um and i posted like an instagram video on it and everything but as you start to use it the more you use it it gets clumpier and clumpier. So it's one of those ones where it's like great fresh and then after that it kind of mm, tapers off. All right, y'all. I don't know what's up with me, but I definitely forgot to film another outro. But so far, we're going with Team Drugstore. Drugstore won. They had the better mascaras in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next time.